Ultra Video Parity. Oi. I wanted to describe how to use this MX Cleanup tool on MX Linux, which is a Debian derivation distribution. What basically this tool allows you to do is to possibly clean up your profile files. Now, it is called MX Cleanup. There might be a similar tool on other Linux distributions, however, do not quote me. On MX Linux, you also must log in with your root account. When you open up MX Linux from the Start Programs menu option, it will ask for your root password. So you're going to have to provide your root credentials, root account credentials. It's a pretty basic little utility. It What this is, is just a graphical user interface for these commands that you would run manually. You would run, you would use the rm command in a command prompt, which I'm not going to demonstrate. It says free disk for user, select user. So there's a drop down menu. If you have m multiple user accounts, then you'll be able to remove and clear some of those files for each user account that you have. I only have one. Now it's going to clean these. Let me reset it to default. Is there a reset button? Maybe not. I thought there was at one time. It's all good. Now the settings that you see on screen will not be the same as on your screen. If you open MX Cleanup for the first time, they will be set to something different. Okay, on the left hand side you have clean folders. And then dot th thumbnails and then dot cache. And then you would place a check mark into each box or whichever one you want to clear clean and the dot thumbnail and dot cache is a hidden folders those are hidden folders plural in your user profile so you would go to slash home slash user as an example and then you would want to turn on view hidden files and folders and then it will be a dot and then thumbnail dot cache it's going to clean your cache folder and it's going to clean your dot thumbnails folder if you select both. Now on, we'll just go what left to right. Then you have clear apt cache. Apt is a tool that allows you to install, remove, and also install updates on MX Linux, which is a Debian derivation Linux distribution. You could select old files, which would be older cache. Now apt, that tool has a cache. You can manually remove it. You can go to the, what is it, apt, well, the command is apt get clean all, I think, or apt get clear all. Or you could browse to that directory and manually remove with the rm command, which I'm not going to demonstrate. I'm going to choose all files. And it'll clear all of the apt cache files. Just the cache. And it's not going to remove any programs. It's not going to, you know what I'm saying? It's not, no just the cache for that apt program uh, it, which some people use apt dash get which is the same apt and apt dash get are the same tool same com program all right now on the left hand side again delete logs you could select old logs and then you could select don't empty or you could select all logs so the clear app cache you can only choose one all right and then same thing with delete logs. You can only choose one. I always have all logs. So it, there, I think it's var log. I could be incorrect, but I, I but I believe it is the, the slash var logs for your profile. Now you can choose the logs older than. Now if you select old logs, I'm not sure. I think you can still choose how old. Can you? Yes, you can. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fiddle with that because I always choose all logs. However, if you were to choose old logs, then you could also choose how many days, so logs older than. So all logs older than seven days will get removed with this tool. All right, so I'm gonna set back to all logs. Empty trash. You can manually empty the trash. What you would do is on your desktop in MX Linux, 
right click the trash can and then select what is it empty yes empty this tool is supposed to empty it however I've noticed it doesn't always empty my trash it could be my computer this is an older computer in the it's very finicky the operating system is starting to have problems and so in the future I'm going to install a different operating system and I might make a video I might make a video when I most likely install BSD which is a Unix type operating system and anyways I digress back to this so empty trash you could empty trash for the selected user which would be up here at the top select user to repair or all users which I had selected or don't empty maybe you have some important trash one man's trash is another man's treasure <laughs> you know what I'm saying maybe you have some items in the trash can or you're just not sure if you want to empty your trash you can select don't empty I'm gonna choose all users although I only have one user for now and then this also trash older than 30 days Oh, you know what? That's what it is. Okay, I just learned something. I think the reason why my trash can wasn't emptying all the time is because I did not have any trash items older than 30 days. That could be it. And then also my logs. They, they it may only, even if you select all logs, it may only delete. Yes, I believe so. This variable I wish it, there was more explanation but there might be a a page there might be a MX Linux page specifically for this tool but I'm not sure I just learned how to use it on my own okay so that makes logical sense what I think what you would do is you would select logs older than zero days that'll delete everything and then the same thing with the trash you would select zero days I'm gonna set it right now because that's most likely what it was all right but I'm gonna leave the all logs and all users okay now finally you can run it now now or you can schedule it now you can schedule it where it would not automatically clean I I think it creates a cron job I'm pretty sure it probably creates a cron job which I'm not going to dis discuss what a cron job is but just quickly a cron job I'm not gonna get into great detail a cron job is just an automated job in Linux you can also create it with a command line interface and it just schedules tasks for you you can basically almost any program in Linux you can set it to, it just automates it it'll run it at a schedule it if whatever you tell you I'm not gonna discuss any further okay so no automatic clean which is what I said I like to manually run this tool on my own accord so I can eight minute mark so that I can monitor it in case any problems occur daily you can set it so that every day it'll run automatically and you don't have to do anything you don't even have to open this program again it, it, because it's a automatic system job most likely a cron job weekly every seven days it'll automatically run or monthly every I believe 30 days it'll run I'm gonna set it back to no automatic clean now maybe in overtime I will discuss the run you know what it does have the tool I may open it up I may have to change something in my encoder to show it to you if not I may make another video describing how to use the run disk usage analyzer okay I'm gonna click on apply now if you set it a schedule I think you would click apply and click close and then it will run whenever it whenever you schedule it which it doesn't it doesn't look like it allows you to change the time so I'm not sure when it'll run but I wouldn't worry about it just click apply so that these changes are saved that's another thing you want to do okay so I'm gonna click on apply and it's gonna run actually right now cleanup command done 677 megabytes for freed and that's not an exaggeration let me make sure my encoder oh it's not capturing that part uh, let me see if I can quickly make a change here I don't know if I'll be able to so that you can see that I'm not exaggerating oh program oh I already have disk usage analyzer you know what okay I'm gonna quickly make a change and since I do not free my freestyle my videos I'm gonna see if I can select that okay now I'm gonna click OK 
and I'm going to transition. It's going to be small, and it's going to be in the upper left-hand corner. You should see it now. It says clean up command done. 677 megabytes were freed. That's a lot. And I ran it about a week or two ago. I think was the last time I ran it. Nah, I think it was closer to a week ago. All right. So let me then remove that and then transition back. And then, okay, back to MX Linux cleanup and then transition okay all right, I already transitioned all right cool all right so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and well I'm just gonna show you this usage analyzer I don't want to go into any details it is built into this tool I'm gonna to click apply again and run it again oh another one megabyte were freed up you won't be able to see that but I'm telling you cleanup command done one megabyte were freed I'll run it well I'll click apply on it the third time all right, it's all good most likely nothing is else is being cleaned up that could be a false positive i'm not too worried all right now i'm going to click on run this usage analyzer and i think my encoder should capture it oh yes right here okay now i'm not going to discuss this in great detail but this tool is available via the mx linux Linux. <laughs> Time for me to quit recording this video. MX cleanup. I'm not going to go over any of this. This will be a separate video. I'm not sure why MX. Well, you know what? It could be because you notice that there, your hard drive space is filling up. Now, as you can see, you can scan. It shows you your devices and locations. Now, without demonstrating, it shows you your hard disks. I have multiple hard disks, obviously, and, I, and it also shows you your home folder, which, is la which was the user account that I used in MX Cleanup. It's the same user account. The, the slash home slash user was the user account in that drop-down menu when, where there was only one user account available. Now what you would do is you would click on one of these and then it, it takes a while. It takes a few minutes. It will scan that folder or that hard drive or even a flash drive. I'm pretty sure if you had a universal serial bus flash drive, it would show up in this list. You click on it. It takes a while because it scans that entire device. It will tell you th this is foreshadowing. You're going to have to check out my video about disk usage analyzer on Linux. Basically what it does is you can narrow down what program, what folder, what files are using up disk space. And it even has graphical interface. Different colors for different amount of disk space being used. For example, red for alert. And that way you can narrow down why your hard disk space is being filled up. And then in Closing, let me transition back. In summation, the, this cleanup tool could help clean up file. Maybe you're trying to install a program and it's giving you a warning on MX Linux that you do not have enough disk space. Well, you could use this tool. And I just proved to you that it cleaned up 677 megabytes. That's quite a bit. It can clean up gigabytes of disk space. And you, I'm not surprised because I've used Linux for decades now, actually. You might be surprised that log files and thumbnails and cache, that can, and your trash can, every time you delete a large video file and you don't empty your trash can, that counts against your disk space. So this tool can help with that regards. And it could possibly allow you to narrow down what actual, what is it your log files? Is it your folders? Well, your cache folders. Is it your, even your apt cache? Is it your trash can that is filling up space that may be causing a further problem? You could use this tool for, like I already articulated, another reason why is 
Some t- even on Windows, excuse me, micro crap, micro ship, micro slop, wind blows operating system, and Apple Mac and crap operating system. Temporary files, which would include log files, temporary internet t- cache history, can cause problems in your web browser, it, or it can actually cause problems installing programs. That's a, another separate video. But I'm just giving you some additional tips that that you may be able to use MX Cleanup to try to fix, solve a problem with your cache files, or you know what I'm saying, that, that would require a cleanup. And then it obviously allows you to clean up those files, folders, directories, w- by just clicking on Apply or scheduling it. Adios.